Hey pagers, welcome back to my channel. To a video where I finally show my face. Yes, this is the one video where I decided to, you know, pop that cherry and just, you know, put on some makeup and just film because I really wanted to uh, start my own TBR game. And I actually love TBR games. So this particular TBR game, I'm gonna explain what the rules are eventually, but I wanna give uh, credit where credit is due. Um, I really got a lot of inspiration from Caitlin from The Lit Review and also uh, this channel called Ocean Reads. I'm so sorry, I forgot her, forgot her like name, but like I know her channel name is called Ocean Reads and I will link both of their channels down below. But I got most of the inspiration from that and this is basically uh, what I'm calling the TBR Pockets game because we have a lot of pockets here. I'm also going to be using Uno cards. I was planning on using normal uh, playing cards, but I just felt like the Uno cards just fit so much better with this game. Uh, so I'm going to be using Uno cards for this. So let's just get into the rules for this game. So basically each of the pockets will have a, where is it, they'll have a prompt in it. So uh, each of the pockets will have a prompt in it and I will be shuffling a Uno deck and I will just, oh no, not that one. So I'll be shuffling a Uno deck and then according to the number on the card, four. So according to the number on the card, I will pick out a prompt from that pocket. So each of the colors of the card will also denote a genre, I should say. So, so like each color has a different genre. So red is romance, obviously, because I am a romance reader. Um, blue is fantasy slash sci-fi, green is historical, and yellow is contemporary. So I just want to make like, I don't know, a disclaimer, not a disclaimer, but I just want to like let everyone know that I am a romance reader. So like even if I get a color that's not red, I will most probably like, if it's like a green, I'll most probably read a historical romance. If it's yellow, I'll most probably read a contemporary romance. And if it's blue, I'll most probably read like a fantasy romance or a urban fantasy romance. So um, just wanna let that out there that uh, I'll most probably just stick in romance wherever I can. And if I get like the red, it's just kind of like an all compassing. I can just pick whatever I want. So I just really wanted to make this TBR game that kind of caters to my tastes and like kind of caters to romance. And a lot of the prompts that I wrote are also very, some are normal prompts and some are like romance prompts like forced proximity, uh, a second chance romance. Oh, this is a really good prompt. This is the, I'm here to kill you, but oops, I fell in love. <laughs> I got this from uh, a channel called uh, Riley Marie. So she made a video with all sorts of wrecks uh, regarding that prompt. So I like, I have to put that prompt in my game. So I just want to put that out there. If you really don't like romance and if you dislike romance and you just want to leave like a comment of like, oh, why are you only reading romance? Like, just want to let you know that this is a romance channel. This is a romance booktube channel. And I will most probably be reading mostly romance. Um, I do read thrillers and horrors here and there but that is a very rare occurrence so just just want to put that out there so 
let's go to the other okay so the game is pretty straightforward there are a few um what is it like bonus cards that are in here that i want to explain so plus four obviously means that i have to add four more draws this is a very scary card <laughs> and here is the wild card so basically if i get this card i can i have the liberty to change the job change the color or the genre of one of my previous picks so i could use it this month i can save it for the next month so it's kind of you know flexible in that way because some of the prompts are kind of catered to a certain genre and i might not always pick the genre that i would want so this allows me to change the color if i want to and this one is the reverse card so the reverse card is here so if i get this card i have to go in here and pick out a prompt so basically what this um reverse card pocket has is all of the you know all of the abandoned books or series or authors that i have so basically I'm kind of going back to all the books that I didn't read or all of the, you know, the pile of unread books on my Kindle or all of the audiobooks that I started and didn't finish, all of the series that I started and didn't finish. So yeah, there are a lot of them out there. So I, uh, I thought I'd make a special pocket just for those books. So yeah, this is what this card means. And another thing is the community chest card. So I just kind of, I just kind of yeah. like took this image, made it a little smaller and put it on this card. But basically what this card means is that I have to go into this pocket and I have to pick out a book. So all of these books are books that I own physically on the shelf. So this is accidentally engaged. I have that book up there. So this is basically just my own TBR, things that I own, not just physical books, but like ebooks and audiobooks too that I want to get to. So they will be here in this community chest pocket. Next is this zero card. So obviously there is no zero on this uh this is not a board. I was thinking of what what to call this on this pocket rack i don't i don't know what to call i don't know what to call her but yeah there's no t zero over here so basically what this zero means is that i don't have to pick a prompt for it for this draw so i can just pick so this is a blue zero so this basically means a fantasy or sci-fi i can pick any fantasy or sci-fi that i want i don't have to add it i don't have to like have a prompt to tell me which one I want. So that is what the zero means. And last but not least is this broken heart. So this uh, pocket is kind of like the punishment pocket. If I don't finish my TBR, I have to pick out a punishment that is, uh, I have to pick out like a punishment prompt from this pocket. So uh, I actually don't really have that many in there. So I have like YA fantasy because uh, I'm kind of growing out of YA fantasy and I don't really like YA fantasy anymore. So there's YA fantasy in there. There's like big book that's like 500 page, like 500 pages or above. Uh, um, I don't really remember what else is in there, but I only have like two, four or five prompts in there. So if you have any like really good punishment prompts, let me know and I'll add them into the broken heart pocket okay so i just have to put my hair up because it is really hot in here but yeah let's just start off with the game let's just get where did i put my prompts okay here they are so let's just uh add the prompts into the pockets i'm really bad at shuffling 
So I apologize <laughs> to all the shufflers out there, but yeah. So let's just shuffle these props and put them in there. Um. Okay, so those are all the props. Um, and let's pick our first book for May. First card. <laughs> I'm actually really nervous. Um, I don't know how many draws I'm going to do. Uh, I think I'm going to start with three because, again, I am a mood reader. And I don't want to, like, put on like a bunch of books that I'm not going to read. So we're going to start with three and we'll just see where it goes. But yeah, the first card is a blue five. So fantasy or sci-fi. Oh, a hate to love. So a hate to love a fantasy or a sci-fi. Hmm. Okay. Let me let me think. Okay. Okay. So my battery decided to completely die on me all of a sudden. Calm down. Please calm down. Uh, yeah. So we have a hate to love fantasy. And I have a few options here. So we have the Winter King by C.L. Wilson. Oh my god, my squeaky chair. I should get like another chair. But yeah, this is the Winter King by C.L. Wilson. Um, I don't really know too much about this book. I actually started reading it like way back. I think last year and I just I don't know I couldn't really get into it because it is a very like high fantasy dense book um, but basically there are these two kin kingdoms that are at war and basically the king of one of the kingdoms like the winter kingdom uh, wants to take vengeance on the summer kingdom so he uh, because of the war and I also think the Summer King like killed one of his siblings or something or like the Summer King did something terrible to the Winter King's family so he wants to take revenge and he wants to take one of the beloved Summer Princesses as his bride so and that's just how the story starts out so they just come and the Winter King and the Summer Princess get married she does not like him obviously because he's both of these kingdoms have been at war for like so long and even he also is not the biggest fan of her because she, you know she's part of like this hated family and he thinks that she's evil or something i don't know um i don't really remember much about this so i think i'm just gonna like throw this bookmark away and just start over but this is one contender for this prompt another contender is a, bro a Promise of Darkness. I'm not sure. Wait, what is the author? Yeah, A Promise of Darkness by Beck McMaster. So I actually heard Crystal from the, uh, Crystal's Bookish Life talk about this. She really, really liked it. I think she gave it a five star. And I think it's one of her fa most favorite fantasies of this year so far. So that really made me excited to pick it up. I also don't know much about this other than it does have a similar pre premise to the Winter King as in there are two warring families um, or warring kingdoms and like the queen of one of the kingdoms sends her daughter off to live in the opposing kingdom's palace and kind of act as a spy and also if possible to kill the king so it's like kind of a oh I'm here to kill you but oops I fell in love situations there 
and that's all I know about it. Uh, I don't know if it's hate to love per se because it just seems like a whole like star-crossed lovers, enemies to lovers type of romance. Um, but I'm not sure if they like actually hate each other or not. But she is sent to mm, his kingdom to kill him. So we'll see what happens. But uh, I'm just going to leave those two books on there for now. I don't want to pick between which one. Again, like I'm a mood reader. I, you know, I'll just pick up what I'm feeling in the mood for. Oh, next prompt or next, yeah, next book. Let's see. What is this? Oh, a reverse card. I'm really excited. I was hoping one of the specialty cards would be in here. Okay. Okay. Ooh. What does this say? Oh, so it says ebook. Okay, so this means that. Oh my god, this chair! I literally don't have any other chairs in my house. This is like the only chair in my house. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I have to just go on my Kindle, see what books I started and didn't finish. Oh, and it has, and it's like a, a red, so it can be anything. Okay, so I have two options for this as well. <laughs> You're gonna be picking two books for each prompt. Oh my God. But yeah. So the first option is Wicked All Night by Jeanine Frost. So I actually own the first two books in physical copy, but like the third book, I couldn't get a hold of it. Uh, I couldn't get a hold of the physical copy, so I have it on ebook. I got 31% into this book before I, I wouldn't say before I kind of just stopped. I don't know why I stopped. I was, I was really liking this book. There was nothing wrong with the book um but I don't know I guess I just got distracted or something but I got 31% in and I was liking it so this is part of the like Ian's books and it's part of like the overall Night Huntress series um it's like book 13 I don't know it's like book it's like a really far ahead into the series but um, if you know, you know. <laughs> so uh, I'm 31% into this book. I might pick that up. Or I also have The Highwayman by Kerrigan Byrne. I also am around 40% into this book before I stopped reading it. Again, I don't know why I stopped reading it. Um, this is a dark historical romance. So, uh, basically, this girl and this little boy, they're both at an orphanage together, and they kind of fall in love with, you, with each other. It's really sweet. They get married, like, you know, how little kids get married, you know? But um, the boy uh, kills somebody because the headmaster of that orphanage was trying to assault the little girl so he actually ends up killing the headmaster and he gets thrown into jail and he ends up and like he ends up dying in jail and the heroine is really devastated and she kind of goes on being married to him like she never gets married again and she says that she's a widow and all that stuff and like he's her one true love and all that stuff so she keeps going on her life that way but then there's like this mysterious stranger who comes to her and says that he needs her help to get his title back and he like knew the boy that died in the jail together they both were like jailmates or something so he was like oh yeah I knew him and all that stuff and she kind of helps him like he sort of kidnaps her not gonna lie but like it is a Kerrigan burn so it is going to be like a little dark so that is what the highwayman is loosely about so I am again 40% into it I don't know why I stopped 
but I might read that or I might read Wicked All Night by Janine Frost. Okay, let's, uh, let's do the third draw. And let's shuffle it a bit. Okay. Ooh, I really hope this isn't like a, okay. is it oh it's a skip okay two books <laughs> okay wait um let's do another draw because i really do want to i really do want to have like at least three books three or four books on this tbr so let's draw another one what is it a wild card okay um, I don't really want to change the genre for any of my previous ones, so I'm going to save this for next month. Just put that up there. Well, that'll be there for next month if I want it. Or like for the next draw if I need it. Okay, let's see. Ooh, a green seven. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh, this is a good one. This is all the angst. So basically a very angsty uh, historical. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, let's see. Let's see. Um... We have two Lisa Claypez novels. Um, this is a third book in the Bow Street series. Um, I actually really love the series by Lisa Claypez. So basically, it's about Bow Street, Bow Street, Bow Street. Sorry, <laughs> it's about um, Bow Street runners. They're basically the kind of equivalent to the police in the historical times. So the second book in the series, Lady Sophia's Lover is about is about kind of like the police captain and his secretary it was one of my favorite books of all time so this is the book that comes right after that so this is about a man named nick gentry and he is actually he was actually a criminal and he was a very notorious criminal but he got caught in the second book so that's why you should read these books in order because like this has a lot of spoilers for the second book but he gets caught in the second book and he kind of makes a deal with the cops or with the police generally that like oh if he becomes a bow street runner he won't have to like go to the, go to jail or like go to the gallows and die so um they kind of make a deal and he is assigned to this girl to find this girl who is who ran away from her wealthy family so like I think her dad's like a nobleman or something so she runs away from his from her family because her family is trying to get her married to this really disgusting older man and she's like ew no I don't want to do that so like I'm peacing out goodbye so he's kind of, he's assigned to her and to find her. And when he finds her, uh, she tells him what's going on. She's like, I don't want to do this. And I think they get married. So she doesn't have to do that. And he gets like a nobleman, nobleman wife. So I think that's the premise of this book. This book is very famous. This is, um... I don't really know much about this. Wait a second. Um, so basically, the heroine saves the hero who is a owner of a gambling gambling hell. So basically, he's gonna get shot, and she saves him, and she asks him for a favor. Basically, she is a writer, so she writes crime novels or something. 
and she asked to like be in his gaming hell so she can like get some inspiration for her next book or something like that um at least that's what i think i'm not sure i heard so much about this book this is like a favorite this is like a booktube darling like everybody loves this book everybody loves Derek craven there's just apparently something about him so i don't know so this is also a contender this is a, apparently supposed to be really angsty this is also apparently supposed to be really angsty but these two and another one will be the uh this book called the raquel of raw so i actually heard this from jen from the book refuge i have this audio on script and this book is about this married couple and basically what happens is that kind of the heroine is almost forced to marry this really disgusting older dude and she doesn't want to do that so they she kind of has a marriage and convenience marriage of convenience with this guy this duke and she kind of you know likes him and stuff when she when they get married so they get married he uh weds her beds her and leaves her <laughs> so it's really i'm like um so that's what i heard so basically he just kind of consummates the marriage and then he just leaves for like three years to go and be a scoundrel in london and she's just really heartbroken she waits for three years for this guy to come back and now she's just like really pissed off and she's just like ew screw this guy but like she really wants a child so she's planning to go to london get revenge on her husband but also like make her husband love her or like you know make her husband love her so she could you know give him the cold shoulder later or something i'm not really sure i feel like i'm butchering the synopsis of this book but apparently it's a marriage in, in trouble the hero has his reasons for leaving her and she's just very pissed off about that so they're gonna have to figure something out i heard it is very angsty and it's very steamy so um i might read that it's like between this book and the two other books okay let's pick let's pick one more oh my god watch this be like a plus four and me just regretting my life decisions <laughs> Okay, so the camera cut off because I got a call and it just didn't record the last few minutes. So we're going to do this again. So we have a we have a green four for like a historical Okay, so we have a light romance. So a light historical romance. Um I already have like a lot of historicals on here and I don't really want to add another historical. So I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to use my wild card. Yeah, I'm going to use my wild card and I'm going to change this green to a yellow and pick one of the books that I was, that I got recently in the mail. Where is that book? Where is it? Okay. So that's Shipped by Angie Angie Hockman. I was about to say Angie Thomas. <laughs> but um, this is Shipped by Angie Hockman. Um, this has basically been doing its rounds on YouTube and on Instagram. Like, uh, this is the UK cover. That's why it looks a little different. Um, I actually really like this cover. But this is basically pitched as the un un Honeymooners meets The Hating Game. And that kind of makes me nervous because, like, I really like The Hating Game. But I wasn't really that impressed with The Unhoneymooners. I just, I don't know, I just didn't really see the hype for that book. But I think I'm going to really like this one. These two uh, people are actually part of a travel agency and they're both vying for the same promotion while on this cruise that is organized by their company. So that is the premise of it. 
So I think I'm gonna really like it. So that is on here for light romance. So let's just see all the books that are on this month's TBR. So we have these four books for this month's TBR. So we have The Winter King uh, by C.L. Wilson. So this is for a hate to love fantasy romance. Um, I'll either be reading this or I'll be reading The Promise of Darkness. We will see when that comes, but most probably I'll be reading Promise of Darkness, but this is there just as a placeholder for now. Then we have Dreaming of You by Lisa Kleypas. So this is for an angsty historical read. So I heard this is really angsty. Um, we will see if I read that or if I re end up reading Ray Calabra. Um, so yeah, we will see which one I end up reading. This is Shades of Wicked by Janine Frost. So this is just a placeholder for Wicked All Night by Janine Frost. We picked this from our little abandoned book. Watch me drop all of my books. Oops. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> my books are also okay. So we picked this one from our little abandoned, uh, our little abandoned pocket. So we got ebook. So an abandoned ebook of ebook that I started but I didn't finish. So that is Wicked All Night by Janine Frost. So I will be reading that book. And I will also be reading Shipped by Angie Hoffman. This is for a light contemporary read, like a light fluffy read. So this, this is what our TBR looks like. I actually really like some of the books that are on here. I'm kind of excited. So yeah, we will see what this month holds. And hopefully I won't have to take a punishment in June. Yeah. Okay, pagers, thank you so much for watching and thank you for taking part in me and my new TBR game. I actually had so much fun playing this game. I had so much fun like making prompts and like picking out the books. It's been it's been a great time. <laughs> I didn't I was kind of nervous um, because again, I'm like such a mood reader and it's like, I didn't know if these prompts were going to be too restrictive and I wouldn't be able to pick the books that I really wanted to read, but it ended up working out really well. And I really liked the books that I picked out and we'll see what June TBR brings. So yeah, let me know um of any prompts that you think i should add to this uh tbr any punishment prompts or any like non-romance prompts so because this is not just for punishment this is like also like a non-romance um pocket so just so i can like diverse my reading a little so this will be like a non-romance pocket as well so if you have any prompts for that pocket let me know or any prompts for any of the pockets just drop them down in the comment section and I'll make sure to add them to my TBR game. And from uh, Caitlin from The Lit Review and also uh, Ocean Reads, they really really did help me visualize and see what I wanted this TBR game to be. Um, Caitlin had the whole like cards and like the little challenge cards and the little colors that denotes different genres. Like I got that idea from her. And Ocean Reads also has like a card game and like each card like picks out like a different prompt. So that also really helped me with like, you know, the prompt idea and all that stuff. So I kind of like mashed those two, get those two games together and kind of made my own thing. But those two really did inspire this TBR game. So make sure to check them out I'll have their once again I'll have their channels linked down below I'll also have my Instagram linked down below in case you want to check out my Instagram I generally post a lot of my journal spreads down there so make sure to check that out also make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and I will see you in the next one bye bye